India is taking a bold step forward in military aviation by upgrading its frontline Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets with cutting-edge indigenous avionics, AESA radar technology, and a modern glass cockpit. This upgrade is not just about keeping the aircraft relevant for the next decade. It's about achieving technological self-reliance and honestly reshaping India's air power for the 21st century. Why upgrade the Su-30 MKI? The Su-30 MKI has been the backbone of the Indian Air Force for more than two decades. With over 270 aircraft in service, it forms the largest fighter fleet in India. But as rival nations advance with fifth-generation fighters, stealth drones, and electronic warfare systems, keeping the Su-30 MKI at the cutting edge is, well, essential. The new upgrade package, announced in 2024, aims to bring the jet closer to 4.5 plus generation standards, making it more lethal, survivable, and digitally connected. At the heart of the upgrade is the Uttam Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, developed by India's DRDO. It provides multi-target tracking and beyond visual range engagement. The system offers strong resistance against electronic jamming, and it expands the aircraft's detection range and precision strike capability. This leap puts the Su-30 MKI on par with advanced fighters like the F-16V, Rafale and J-10C, which also field AESA radars. So, let's talk a bit about the glass cockpit and pilot-centric design. The upgraded cockpit replaces those older analog systems with a full digital glass cockpit. You've got these large touchscreen multifunction displays, or MFDs, making everything a lot more accessible. That means enhanced situational awareness, with integrated targeting and navigation data right at your fingertips. It really helps pilots manage their workload, especially during those complex missions. Honestly, this transforms the Su-30 MKI from a legacy platform into a digitally networked fighter. Now, moving on to the indigenous mission computer and local components, this is a pretty big achievement. 78% of the upgrade package is now locally sourced. New mission computers, electronic warfare systems, and avionics are being produced, which is huge. Plus, it aligns perfectly with India's Atmanirbar Bharat, or Self-Reliant India, defense strategy. Now, while the avionics are definitely the highlight, this upgrade also supports the integration of advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. There's improved precision strike capability and even compatibility with next-generation standoff weapons. But the implications go way beyond just technical improvements. The Su-30 MKI upgrade strengthens the regional air power balance, especially against China's J-20 stealth fighters and Pakistan's JF-17 Block III. It boosts indigenous defense production and reduces vulnerability to sanctions or supply chain disruptions. And of course, it enhances India's ability to conduct network-centric warfare, working in coordination with the Rafale fleet and the upcoming Tejas Mark II fighters. In the global context, India's move really mirrors what's happening around the world. Europe is pushing next-generation modular integrated avionics, or NG MIMA, and the United States is experimenting with open mission systems to make future jets more flexible. By investing in modular indigenous upgrades, India is making sure the Su-30 MKI stays combat relevant well into the 2030s. So, in conclusion, the Su-30 MKI upgrade marks a real turning point in India's military aviation journey. With the Uttam AESA radar, a modern digital cockpit, and indigenous mission systems, India is transforming its air power backbone into a future-ready fighter. This isn't just an aircraft upgrade, it's a statement of intent, a message that India is ready to control its defense destiny, reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, and really compete in the next era of aerial warfare. India's Su-30 MKI upgrade could change the balance of power in the skies. Do you think indigenous AESA radars and glass cockpits will give India the edge it needs? Share your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Intel Prime for more exclusive defense insights.